Despite being one of the highest grossing film franchises of all time, beating out the likes of Pirates of the Caribbean and also Madam Web, I have not seen a single Harry Potter movie, so I figured it was a good idea to try to recap them all for you today. So in Harry Potter and Socrates Stone, the titular character Harry Water has to team up with his old friends Ron Weasel and Vin Diesel and also girl character to try to figure out if he's really a Harry Potter or not. So Percy Jackson lives with his two despicable parents, Uncle Ant and Owen Baru, and they treat him like shit and they treat him like uh, Dan Schneider treats his child employees. <laughs> And they keep him in a box, and then a big old owl comes in, and he says, You're the Witcher, Harry! And uh, gives him a credit card with unlimited flight points, and tells him to go to the school of Hogwarts, where he can learn to be a true Witcher. So he goes to the school, and he meets the wizard Dumbus, and he gets to put on the hat to decide if he's a Gryffindor, Slippendor, Piffindor, or Hufflepuff. But then he finds out that the Hogwarts actually has ties to the Vatican and has been covering up crimes against humanity. So Harry Potter got to find the Socrates Stone to stop it all from its roots. And then, in Harry Potter 2, The Secret Chamber, Harry Potter's got to team up with his friends Ron Weasley and Annabeth, and they have to go find the secret chamber to where the goblins live, because the goblins control a disappropriate amount of the world's wealth, and also have their hands in every single Hollywood production since the 1940s. So Harry has to use the writings from acclaimed author J.K. Rowling to finally put this conspiracy to light and stop the goblins from making tunnels underneath New York City. So Harry Potter 3 picks up right where 9-11 left off with the prisoner of Afghanistan and Harry Potter's got to team up with Dick Cheney to finally put the conspiracies to rest and bring to light that it was Afghanistan that was behind the attacks and not him and George Bush, which it was. So they uh, eventually they find the werewolf uh, from Morbius and he's the prisoner from Afghanistan and they got to beat him up to get the information out of him. Expecto Patronum! And then they find out that the goblins from the last movie made a tunnel out of their jail cell. And then they had to go and arrest those guys again. Okay, this is when they started getting good. So Harry Potter and the Fire Goblin. So after the goblins were arrested for the second time, they decided to start a pagan religion that sacrifices griffins because they hate Hogwarts of Gryffindor and to give themselves fire powers so they can win back the stock market. But ultimately, Harry Man, Juan Wesley, and Herpes Danger were ultimately able to <laughs> were ultimately able to get the fire goblin to commit so uh, I mean uh, make him unalive himself by shooting himself 16 times in the back of the head. Like the legend of the phoenix the Griffins are back from the dead after being sacrificed, and now they become the Phoenix, and that's why it's called the Order of the Phoenix, because now they have to kill them in the order that they were sacrificed by the goblins. But then it turns out the Phoenix were just hungry, because they can't go to the drive through because they don't know English. So then Harry, Ronnie, and Harry, uh, they have to go to the McDonald's and then do their order, and that's why it's called the Order of the Phoenix. So then in Percy Jackson and the Half-Blood Prince, he has to find a Half-Blood who is a prince because he's a, well, he's a Half-Blood because his dad's Poseidon. And that's why he has the lightning bolt over his eye because he's the lightning thief, but he's not a prince. So then they have to go to Narnia and that's where they find Prince Caspian from the hit movie, The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wizard uh, from 2008, I believe. And uh, he has to... He has to help him because he's half human and half prince. So he has to bring in all the Gryffindors and Hufflepuffs together to stop the Grand War because Wizard Hitler is coming. Uh, but we can't say his name. You're not allowed to say his name. It's just like on YouTube where you can't say the word Hitler without being demonetized. That's why I said uh, unalive earlier instead of suicide because if you say suicide then you get demonetized.
What's the next? Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. This is when they start getting good. So Harry Potter and the Hallows Eve. He's got to get uh, more candy than all the wizards by playing the broomstick game uh, because they're all witches as well. And it turns out uh, Grand Admiral Wizard Dumbus was gay the whole time. So he gets unalived by J.K. Rowling by being shot 16 times in the back of the head because he's gay and we can't have any gay characters in these movies. Uh, and anyway, um, Wizard Hitler comes down and he's like, I'm gonna kill you, Harry Potter, because your movies aren't diverse enough and they need to be changed, uh, years afterwards by people who didn't even write it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? What is this video? Oh, uh, Wizard Hitler is like, I try to kill you as a baby, and that's why you have the lightning tattoo, and that's why you're the lightning thief, and then the evil wizards come, and a bunch of people die, and like, there's like that one guy who, um, I didn't really talk about, but he dies, uh, Draco Mal Malfoy, uh, he might die, I don't know, there's somebody else that dies, uh, I never watched it, and then, um, oh, I also forgot to mention, because I hate these movies, but I don't know if it's in this one or in the last one or like any of the ones before that. But Harry Potter literally gets cucked because uh, Ron Wesley steals Hermione Granger. And then uh, Harry Potter, like he, he's like, he has to start talking to this Asian chick. And, you know, like, there's nothing against Asians, right? You know, they're welcome here on Spooky Keys. Uh, but they're, like she, that particular one is not Hermione Granger. So I, like, I don't, Harry Potter got screwed over is what I'm trying to say. Alright, um, so we finally made it to the last one, the finale, the one that we've all been waiting for. Harry Potter and the Curse of Halloween, where he has to go up against Doofenshmirtz himself. And he has a special power that makes you die uh, if he hits you with it. It's kind of like a gun. And then, uh, so Hades invades uh, Camp Half-Blood and all the kids die, all the wizards, um, Dumbus. Uh, Prince Caspian, Percy Jackson, and then Harry Potter, he, uh, he gets cucked again, but then, uh, he gets a special lightsaber, uh, to, uh, kill the Emperor, you know, I think that pretty much is it, it's a big fight, big fight. So, once again, I flawlessly recapped a movie series I haven't watched, if I missed some, put it down in the comments, I won't read it, but maybe somebody will, um, so yeah, check out the Fast and Furious one, that one's better, uh, and also, always remember, Potter Power. <laughs>